Hello and welcome to Willan Lake in Milton Keynes, Buckinghamshire in the UK. Now okay, it's not the Lake District, it's not the North Yorkshire Downs, um, but it's close to home. But today is special because it marks the start of my new channel. So I've given myself a day off to start this new channel. I normally teach in IT computer courses in Milton Keynes to either businesses or individuals but I thought let's take up photography again I've not uh, been using my camera for many years now and I was quite a keen photographer and I've sort of forgot most things to be honest I had a really nice Nikon D80 and it's just given up the ghost it doesn't work so I had a look around and decided to get the Canon M50 which is a great little camera and I thought let's take you on my journey relearning everything about photography and taking you out on my trips so this is the start of the new channel so as of today there are no subscribers um, so I need you to subscribe if you wouldn't mind and maybe clicking that like button just to get my channel going. I've got another channel that is dedicated to computer training. I'll put the link uh, up here for you and down below and maybe to my website if that's what you're interested in. But this particular channel is all about photography and mainly the Canon M50. Now on here I've got a Canon lens, it's an 18 to 50, uh, which is going to be, I think, my sort of go to lens. So, uh, but I have bought a host of other lenses, so my plan is to have some days out or afternoons out, take you with me, and let's discover what this nice camera will do. So today um, nothing special I'm just having a wander around this Willan Lake just to see if there's a photo opportunity. I bought my tripod with me and a couple of lenses. We'll just see um, what happens. I'll see you in a moment when we get set up when I do find a shot. I've um, just been walking down towards the lake but before I get there I've noticed this lone tree just here. Now the sun's actually a bit high to be honest and I think I'd prefer if the sun was a bit lower. I might come back later when the sun's lower or I'd like to perhaps come back in the winter and see what this is like but it's actually in the middle of what they call the turf maze or like a labyrinth here on the ground. I don't know if you can see that but I'm going to see if I can get a shot of this particular tree. There's a great sort of row of trees that go round in a sort of semicircle. I don't know if you can see that right at the back there. I'll just spin round and you can see that. It looks lovely. But I think I need a lower sun. I need more shadows really on the hilly parts. Um, so I'm just going to see what I can get with this tree and um, we'll have a look. This tree that I've found in the middle of uh, this sort of labyrinth, um, to show you it again here. I've sort of set up, the sun is a bit high but uh, let's just hope we can get a shot here. I'm shooting, let's just have a look what I'm shooting with. I've got uh, ISO is 100, I've got 7.1 because I'm going to try and leave some of the background in focus. I'm going to focus on the tree and I'm shooting at um, one two fiftieth of the second. So I'm just going to check those settings. I might need to adjust them slightly. I've just taken that at one hundred twenty fifth of a second at seven point one. Actually, um, because it's so bright, the background is very very washed out. Um, I'm just going to knock it down a stop. So let's have a look. I'm shooting now um, at one two fiftieth of a second still 
ISO 100 and 7.1 to try and get some of that background in focus. So let's take this shot. Just going to turn the camera around slightly. Okay, that's looking good. The histogram is looking good as well on here. So I'm one stop under just to compensate. Let's see what that looks like. It looks okay. So I've just come to the other side of the um, nature lake uh, now and I've looked back and the actual scenery is really lovely. There's a sort of clump of trees there. And from where I am you can see sort of silvers and greens and bits of yellow at the top uh, which is really nice. But if you look round to the left you can see the horizon over there with all the trees and the water in front. It's just a lovely scene. You just can't believe this is a city and um, we've got such a lovely place to walk around. So it's a bit windy today so I'm going to try and uh, set up the tripod now and see what we can do. I've uh, got the tripod set up, I've got the scene um, set over there. The um, ND8 filter, the neutral density filters on just to bring out a bit of a colour there. Um, we're on 1 30th of a second uh, at f10 because I want to try and get as much in focus as possible. Got a bit of foreground here um, in leading over to those trees with all the different colours and a bit of um, of the landscape to the left hand side. Still on ISO 100 of course, nice sunny day. I've got a two second timer on and I've actually weighed the tripod down with my rucksack. So here we go. Okay, um, yep, like that one. Perhaps a little bit in post but uh, it's looking good. So let's just take another one. That's it, you can do that in the days when I was shooting film <laughs> every every picture had to count but um, with digital these days you can take more than one just in case you've um, knocked your tripod slightly or the wind blowing it. I mean none of these are really special I mean we're around Willan Lake in Milton Keynes and that's on the um, <laughs> Lake District or anywhere like that but uh, you just sort of make the most of where you are so this is just as a reminder at the start of my journey with the Canon M50 I did do a photo shoot in London uh, just to get used to the camera a bit uh, went round on the Boris bikes actually the Sandander bikes great value two pound for the day um, just visiting all the monopoly places the UK monopoly places in London so that was just an experience just to get used to the camera really before um, I start. So that was my first video that I've uploaded actually onto uh, this new channel. But this is the first video where I'm presenting to you. So hopefully it all works out. Um, by the way, I'm shooting video with a Sony ZV-1. Um, maybe we can do some shoots with that and see what happens. And I'll swap them over. I'll get the Canon M50 to do the video. But that's later. Let me get used to the Canon M50 first. Okay, let's move on. So I've literally just walked a few minutes around the lake and looking back to the same view of the picture we've just taken, I'm thinking I can sort of get this tree and sort of bushes and water plants, etc., as a sort of a bit of a frame. Um, sort of a dark at the front leading out to uh, the water at the back. So I'm just going to set up and see what we can get um, and see what you think. Very windy today so I think I need to hang my rucksack on the tripod.
on this one I'm at um, focal length 11 millimeters um, so it's nice and wide um, I'm going to put the f-stop to f.5 and focus on the far background on the other side of uh, the lake it's actually not the other side of the lake it's actually an island that's in the middle of the lake and uh, it's like a nature reserve Line this up. I need to adjust the shutter speed now. So let's, okay, so I've got a shutter, shutter speed of um, one two hundredth of a second with an f-stop of f point five. Don't forget, I've got the ND eight filter on, the neutral density filter, shooting at ISO one hundred. It's looking good. I can take this picture. Got a left the timer on, but that's fine, no problem there. I'm happy with that. I've got the darkness of uh, all this bit to frame it at the front, going out to the island the other side. Yeah, so that was dodgy. I took a couple of more photos uh, there, but I nearly lost my CV1. Uh, the wind blew it over. I must get a better tripod for this, uh, or maybe a GoPro. I might borrow the wife's. GoPro next time it might be a bit easier when you're out on location it's messing about with two tripods is a bit of a pain to be honest um, so we'll have a go at something else next time but uh, at least the camera seems to be working but uh, just look at this this is a uh, just so lovely around here this is all man-made as well this all helps um, the drainage etc um, there's a, a river, River Ouse, just over the back um, and then we're not far from the canal system as well, the Grand Union Canal and what happens is if the water starts to overflow they can let water into the lake or out of the lake, there's sort of a sluice gates over there where they can actually control water levels etc and you find this all around Milton Keynes, in fact what we will do is do a um, little walk around some of the other lakes and take in some other pictures um, and all the, most of the lakes are there as a sort of a system to make sure the place doesn't flood so anyway let's move on and see what else we can find okay I've just walked along a little bit further now and I can sort of see this shot not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet but there's a bit of a frame there um, and we've got swans and ducks and things uh, with the wide angle we're just looking at the scenery really as opposed to zooming in on uh, the wildlife there but we'll see what we can do that's the sort of shot i'm thinking about to try and get a sort of frame with the trees and bushes around it going into the lake maybe some of the sky we'll see what we can do so i've just moved forward slightly um, to take out some of the foreground that seems to have worked, but um, tell me what you think. I'll put it up here after post. Okay then, let's move on. Okay, this is me back to where I started. I've been around just the one lake. Oh my God, it's really windy. Um, I'm gonna pack all my gear away when I get to the top here. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next video.